time of year, everybody's getting excited about the uh, you know the new season, uh, fourteen fifteen, and uh, here at ULR, and actually we are too, and you know we've got a lot of experience coming back, and a few new kids that we feel like will help us in the junior college transfer, and uh, Alexis Dunn at the point guard, and then we get uh, Alexis Williams, which set out last year, that transferred from SMU to go with four kids, you know, that played a lot before started, and, and Kanisha Cobbins, which got hurt last year. So, you know, we feel like this is a year that, uh, you know, with their experience and depth that uh, hopefully things will go well for us and, and we'll be able to compete. Thank you very much, Coach. We will now go to questions. Our first questions come from Joshua Parrott. Josh, please go ahead. Good morning, Coach. Good morning. Uh, can you uh, share a little bit of your perspective and thoughts on, on just how you guys will be able to uh, – you guys have had so much success over the, the past, really, decade or so. Uh, I know going into this season, is, is there was there anything particular you told your group in the off season? Was there any different type of focus uh, just after the way that things ended up going last year? Well, I think the, the one thing they've learned that uh, the lineup can change any time because when we lost, uh, you know, had two injuries right before the season, before, you know, practice really even started, right as practice started, uh, with, two, with the junior and the senior, that all of a sudden our whole team changed. And I said, you know, guys, everybody's got to be prepared. Everybody's got to work like you're going to be the starter the next day. And, and if you don't, then we'll be coming in on the short end of the straw. So I think that they've learned a lesson that the lineup can change in a hurry. And I think that it gives everybody that, that we've got a chance to understand that, you know, you got to be ready when your time's called. And, and we didn't do that very well last year. So I think that, the, you know, this year's team is working a little better as far as togetherness. And I think, you know, that they're not getting to a postseason in, in, since the last six, seven years. I think that kind of wakening up uh, maybe the, the juniors and seniors a little bit that it's not just a given. So I think that may be ingrained them a little bit more. Uh, as far as uh, Cobbin, she's coming back from a from a knee injury. How how is she doing, and, and what are your, your expectations for her this year? She, uh, in the last month, has really, really come on well there. She strained a little. She, she strained her kneecap uh, when she came back early in the summer, in the early July, and it set her back about three or four weeks. But the last three weeks, she's really played in, and you can tell she's starting to get it back. She's not wearing a brace, and, you know, she's uh, a lot of kids, get I think, get dependent, you know, when they put a brace on that they don't cut and move. But she, she does some pretty good things in practice, so I'm feeling real good about it, and thing about Kanisha is she's got so much basketball knowledge. You know, some kids just get the game, and, and uh, her and, and Shanty James are the two kids that really know the game well for us. So when we lost Cobbins, that took a lot of our, our basketball knowledge of, and getting people in the right place and doing the right thing. And, you know, it's like having another coach on the floor that knows what's going on, knows what you want, and we lost that, and that, that really hurt us. And you don't get many kids like that, and that's what, you know, uh, maybe writers and people in the stands and things, if you're not around them every day, you don't notice those things, and unless you're a coach, sometimes you don't realize how important, you know, she's not that great a shooter, not that great great at uh, and maybe a ball handling, but she's not bad, but she's a very good defensive player, but she communicates well, and, and I tell our kids all the time, I'd much rather have a communicator as I had a defensive or offensive star, because I can get the whole team going, so that's the kind of person she is for us. Uh, ex expectations as well for for Taylor Galt and, and for Lexus Williams. Well, Taylor, there's, you know, there's no doubt. Everybody in the conference knows Taylor, and they know she can she can get on a roll and put put some numbers up in a hurry. And that's good to have a player like that. There's no doubt. And hopefully she'll be even a little bit more consistent this year as a senior. She did, did a little better last year. And if we could, you know, I'd love to say that every time we walk on the floor, she's going to get 15, 16. And, you know, instead of the 30 one night and, you know, eight or six or eight the next night. So hopefully we've talked a lot about that. And then Lex adds, adds a lot of scoring to our to our team. You know, we, we really struggled inside of scoring last year. And that's one thing Lex can do is she can score. She's got a knack for, you know, she's got a good jump shot. She's got a knack for posting up. So that, that will help our inside game tremendously. So I'm excited about, you know, being able to score a little bit more inside and knowing that we can score on the perimeter. I, th I thought that was our, you know, we were a pretty decent defensive team last year, but offensively it was, it was tough at all sometimes for us to score. So I'm, I'm hoping we're a little bit better scorers this year. Uh, last question, Coach, as far as the makeup of the league itself, a, a little bit of a new look 
this year. Uh, what are your feelings and thoughts, and maybe even expectations on on just how, you know what these new teams are going to add, and and how that might I don't know reshuffle things, just just maybe add to the competitiveness of the league. Well, you know, I, I'm hoping Appalachian State. I, you know, I've always heard from some co- coaches that I know and that, that were in that league. Always told me they were very athletic and, and did a great job of playing the game. And you know, I know they've been in some postseason tournaments. So I'm hoping that that brings some uh, a higher level of competition to to our conference. And uh, you know, don't don't know much about Georgia Georgia uh, at, at all. Uh, you know, of course, Georgia State I think is very athletic, and I think that you know they're capable of, of being a very good basketball. So I think that's to Georgia Southern. And I was trying to think of, you know, I don't know much about them. So it's kind of new. I think Texas State, you know, is learning, learning what the league was like last year. I think they'll have pretty good athletes to compete most of the time. So, you know, I think it's a, it's it's going to evolve. I think Texas are, uh, Arlington uh, being right there in the Metroplex, uh, you know, new coach last year. So I think they'll they'll develop into a very good competitive team in our league. So I, I think our league's, uh, you know, kind of young as it, it, what we're going to be. After losing Middle and, and now losing Western and, and you know Florida International, those are always three very athletic teams, three three good teams, and we need teams like that. We need teams to develop into those type teams because you know I think when us and Middle were going at it very strong, that uh, you know that's what got us two teams in the NCAA tournament there for three or four years, and and I think we got to have that kind of competition. I think we got to have people playing that type of schedule that Middle plays and, and going out and, and you know beating one of those and you know I know you know we've got Texas Oklahoma and, and uh, you know team LSU we start off at LSU and I think the other teams in our league have got to play people and, and, and beat one of those people every now and then so that way when you do get in the league with each other everybody in the country knows all right I know that team beats you know Kentucky that team beats so-and-so so if this team beats them then they just, they must be pretty dang good too so we need that kind of competition going on in our league. Coach, thank you very much. Uh, all, all the best to you this year, and I, I enjoy talking with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Josh. Our next questions come from Jonesboro. Again, reminder to media, star one, ask questions and get in the queue. Uh, caller from Jonesboro, please identify yourself and go ahead. Hey, Coach. It's uh, Brad Bolo at 95.3, the ticket. Um, I, I noticed when you were running through kind of your roster, said you guys added a uh, uh, JUCO point guard, and that's something you haven't you know, ha- done a lot of uh, going to JUCO ranks. It's interesting kind of hearing about that kid and whether you just uh, you sort of just found, found yourself at a, at a position of need there at the point with a, with a hole to fill last season. Well, we we did because, you know, we lost Taylor Ford, which had been starting Air Force for the last three years, so we knew we had to get a point guard. Uh, you know, we, we'd already signed one freshman to kind of come in, and, I, you know, I was banking on Cobbins, you know, being able to come back and play. But just in case we we thought you know we might have signed somebody just that had some experience, we knew we didn't need another freshman at that particular time. So we we did end up getting a junior college, and you're right, we we haven't done a lot of junior college, and but uh, this is one of the exceptions, and she's doing a good job for us. And like I said, Cobbins can can come back, and I see that you know she's doing well. So we'll I think we'll be all right at that spot. And then just want to get your thoughts. <clears throat> Excuse me. I know you and Arkansas State you know picked at the top. Uh, you know, they, they have gambled back, but I know they'll be looking to replace some front court scoring. Just want to kind of get your thoughts on what you know about Arkansas State. Well, uh, there's no doubt, you know, what Gamble can do. I mean, she proved that last year, and a uh, very good player, great competitor, loves the game, and fun to watch. And, uh, you know, I enjoyed watching them play and, and competing against them. And, and, you know, up there they just blew us off the floor. And, and fortunately down here we'd rather come back and get one. But uh, it would have been fun if we could have got that third game and played against each other but uh, and see what happened. But, uh, you know, didn't get that opportunity. We didn't hold up on our end of the deal. But, you know, I know he had a post player sitting out that he tells me is very good. So if they've got that to go with Gamble in the inside-outside game, uh, you know, I don't think there's any doubt they'll be there at the top. And, and you know, it'll be who can, who can displace them. And, you know, it's, they're going to be hard to beat. I don't think there's any doubt. Thanks, Coach. Thank you very much, and uh, thank you, Coach Foley. Appreciate your time today. That's all the questions we have for you. All righty. Thanks a lot.